It's freezing in here, so let's get going. <laughs> Welcome back to another edition of Pimp My Filter. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Aqua One Ocellaris 400. We haven't taken a look at many Aqua One external filters, and this is one of their smallest ones. It's reasonably cheap. The link to it is in the video description. Don't click that yet, though, because towards the end of the video, I will tell you if I recommend this filter or another one. And I may just recommend another one. Okay, that's it there. We've got the in pipe and the out pipe, and we've got a little priming dial on the top. You basically unscrew that, fill the thing with water, screw it back up, set it away, and it should be primed. Also in the box, we've got the in and outs, like the shepherd's crook sort of uh, attachments, suckers to hold these fittings on the inside of your tank, and a couple of bits of pipe. Now I have seen in a few reviews online that these bits of pipe aren't long enough, but this filter doesn't have the power to sit way below a tank and pump the water all the way back up. The head of this pump is only one meter. So those bits of pipe, to me, are easily long enough because this filter would actually sit just at the back of your tank. So say your tank was here, this wouldn't sit way below it in a cabinet. It's not designed to do that. It isn't powerful enough to do that. Okay, before we get the top off, I'll just give you the details from Aqua One. Um, the pump inside of here pumps 410 litres per hour or 108 US gallons per hour. And it's recommended for a, well, up to a 100 litre or 38 US gallon tank. The pump consumes 6.7 watts of power, which isn't much. And inside of here, there is approximately 370 grams or 13.05 ounces of ceramic rings. And we'll take a look at that now. Now, access to this filter is gained by these little paddles. We've got two on that side. Two on that side. <laughs> and once they're undone, the top comes off. So on this side, we've got the inlet, which goes into that side of the filter. And then on the other side, we've got the outlet, which houses the pump. And that is where the water is drawn from the filter and spat back to the tank. Bear that in mind, inlet, outlet. Now I had to actually check this, but this is correct. This is the way that Aqua One says that this filter should be set up. Inlet. Water comes in, goes through some pretty good quality ceramic rings or sintered glass rings. I'm not quite sure. I haven't opened this, but that plastic bag would be taken off and then you've got a, a mesh bag of filter media. So instantly that's wrong. The water should not hit the biological media first, but it does. Then the water goes through this removable cartridge, which will obviously need replacing quite regularly because it is just a very fine floss. It then goes in and around this coarse foam before being sucked up into the pump and spat back out to the tank. So that is totally the wrong way around. It should be the other way around. But if you wanted to upgrade this filter without spending a penny, all I would suggest is turn the head of the filter around 180 degrees and at least it's gonna go through foam first, then your fine floss or pad or whatever, then it's gonna go through your biological media and get drawn out. You know, as a bare minimum, just swap the head around 180 degrees, but we can do much better than that. Now, luckily, this bottom end of the canister has three possible positions for this cartridge. And if we get a sharp pair of scissors or a Stanley blade, we can cut out this bottom part of the cartridge. That will allow water to go where it needs to go without ever needing to replace this cartridge. So what we're going to do, instead of having the cartridge here, we're going to move it to there. 
see in there, water can get freely through the bottom of there. And then in this section, where the water is going to come in from your tank, we're going to put some ceramic media. This is Ehi Mech. It's very good because it's small. It just basically settles the water and it allows water through it. But it does trap quite a lot of muck. It's going to go into the bottom of there. Water is freely going to get through that. Then we're going to go in with two medium density pads and two coarse pads. These are just ordinary pond foams that would be sold for pond filter use. No reason why you can't use them in an aquarium. And they've got bumps on as well so you've got a lot of contact surface area and when you've got them all with the bumps facing up between these foams you're going to have lots of places for muck to settle so it's going to be a long time before you need to clean this section out or indeed even just crack open the filter to clean any of it out so now we've got the water going through two coarse pads two medium pads it will then leave through the bottom that we've cut out and it will travel up through one two Three mesh bags of bio gravel. So in total, we've got 750 grams of bio gravel media there now. Then it'll get drawn out to the tank. So just to recap what we've done, water goes in, all your mechanical is done in this section. It then goes through those um, Ehi Mech small ceramic tubes. It goes through the bottom of this cartridge and then it rises up through all of this highly efficient biological media a super simple setup which makes it far more efficient than having that as your last stage of filtration and that as your first stage of filtration now this thing is set up properly so it goes from mechanical various stages of mechanical and then it goes through biological if you wanted to put any chemical media in, that would go on top of your biological media because you'd always go mechanical, biological, chemical. You'd always put the chemical last because you don't want the chemical media to draw out too much of the good stuff that the bacteria might need to survive. Okay, so we've greatly increased the amount of biological media in here which has made this particular little filter suitable for a bigger tank. Um, certainly not a bigger tank than 100 litres, but a bigger tank than it ordinarily would have been with what comes with the filter in it. In it? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> so now we've got 750 grams of biogravel, which is approximately 26.45 ounces for you guys in the US. That makes this one suitable for a normally stocked tank of up to 75 litres or 90. 18.74 US gallons with a normal stock or if you've got a heavy stock 37.5 litres or thereabouts uh, or 9.87 US gallons obviously if you've got a beautifully set up well planted tank this will filter way more than those recommendations that I've just given you you know I'm just working on a normal fish tank maybe it's one or two plants and a heavy stock probably is with no plants you know so everything is relative on a big tank that's set up to be close to nature you can get away with a little filter you don't need huge turnover rates you don't need masses of biological media but for 90 percent of tanks you do need a well set up filter and now this one is a well set up filter so there you go that's quite compact just sits behind your tank or just off to the side and it will filter a reasonable amount of water and certainly with what we've put in there it'll deliver a full cycle for up to 75 litres quite easily and where I put the Ehi Mech you could even put some more bio gravel if you wanted to that would increase the tank size and stock again two things to finish big thanks to Sylvie for sending me this this was the third one that she sent me so I've completed her three filters now, which I did in the last few videos. 
um, I'll get them back off to her free of charge of course which is what I always do um, and the other thing is as I mentioned at the very start would I recommend this particular filter well considering the cost of it which I think currently is around about 43 or 44 English pounds I would under certain conditions but there is a hang on the back filter from All Pond Solutions called the HOB500 which will hold about a kilo of bio gravel and it's only around about 24, 25 English pounds if you want a small filter for a tank of up to 100 litres or 38 US gallons that is what I would recommend and there is a Sun Sun version of that filter available for you guys in the US and elsewhere I'll put the links to everything I've talked about in the video description so if you're interested check those out this is definitely a nice little filter um, some of the reviews I've seen online complain about it um, but you know you get what you pay for and I think what you get with this is decent compared to some of the more expensive manufacturers who are producing far less than this for double the price now if any viewers out there in the UK have got any filters that we haven't featured in this series yet feel free to get in touch my email address will be in the video description it's also on the filter pro website and just let me know what you've got send it to me I will feature it I will upgrade it for free and I'll send it back to you for free all I want to do is try and feature as many filters as possible in this series of videos and yes it has cost me probably thousands to make these videos up to the point of number 92 93 where we're on now but that's been worth it because it's enhanced my knowledge of filters and hopefully for people who own specific filters like this one or like the one we featured in the last video it'll give you some idea of how the water flows through the filter and how it can be upgraded so it's a win-win for all of us thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video